In this video, I'm going to show you the creation process of this Wallace and Gromit artwork that I made in Blender. I posted this artwork on Blender Artist and um, I got a message from somebody and they were wondering if I could make a video on how I created this and how I did the materials and all that stuff. So I thought that was a cool idea. And so, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So I started off by getting some reference photos online and then I just uh, went into sculpting and I just started to sculpt out uh, the basic head shape of Wallace. And you can see I just like pulled out his mouth and gave him a neck and just basically making the shape of Wallace's head. You can see just making the neck a little bit thicker. And then here I started to carve in his mouth and just basically fixing things up. I just added uh, some lips on him and then I added the eye sockets and then I added in Wallace's nose, just made a big round nose. Uh, Wallace has a pretty big round nose, so just made that. And you can see it's starting to look like Wallace, but uh, the shapes really aren't uh, perfect. So I, I did play around with that a lot and did a lot of tweaking just to make it look as much like Wallace as I could. And then I pulled out his ears and just started working with that. And then I just added a sphere and I used that for his eyes. So I just moved uh, the sphere into his eye socket and just added a mirror modifier. And then I just added a cube and I started to model his teeth. And then I added a mirror modifier so that I only had to model half of it and it would be mirrored across. And then I just uh, basically just added a just just a basic uh, teeth shape. And then I went in and started sculpting that. So I just sculpted in the detail of his teeth, but it was really just uh, two objects, one object uh, of his upper teeth and then one object of his lower teeth. And then just for the fun of it, I decided to model some uh, cheese and I just uh, modeled the basic shape of cheese and then I just sculpted um, some holes in the cheese. So it's probably Swiss cheese. I think Wallace's favorite cheese is uh, Wensleydale. Not even Wensleydale. <laughs> So then um, I actually added a subsurface on the cheese just to give it more of a cheesy look. Uh, and then I just kind of rotated the cheese around, uh, just made a little funny scene. Cheese, grub it, we'll go somewhere where there's cheese. And then once I finished that, um, I just put those on a separate layer and hid them and I continued working on the project. So I just added a box and I just started to just model his basic torso. And then I just modeled a simple color uh, just with a box. And then right here I added his tie. Just uh, very simple, just modeled a simple tie. And then I just started sculpting that to get the shape that I wanted. And just started sculpting his collar and vest. And then I started adding the details on his vest. Uh, this did take a while to sculpt all the details, but I had the mirror modifier on, so uh, that definitely helped to do it a bit faster. And there you can see I just uh, sculpted all those strips like that. And then once that was finished, I started to cut and go a little bit left and a little bit right and kind of, yeah, just made that effect of his vest. I actually didn't do it on the back of it because you're not going to see it in the final image. So just to speed things up, I just didn't need to uh, add the detail in the back there. And then I just added a uh, cylinder and I just modeled just some arms and then just went in and sculpted those. And you can see here I'm using the pose brush just to kind of pose his arms. Uh, the pose brush is pretty awesome. You can pose things. <laughs> And then I just uh, added a cube and just did some simple modeling uh, for his hand. You can see I just uh, did some very basic modeling. And then after I did that basic modeling of his hand, I went in and started sculpting it. Just creating the, sh the, the shape of his hand. And then once that was done, I just moved it into position. Just kind of fixing some things, tweaking things, because I did want it to look as much like Wallace and Gromit as I could. And then I started uh, modeling Gromit. So I actually used the meatballs in Blender and I just uh, used two of them to just make uh, Gromit's face. And then once I had made the face, I just converted it to a mesh and then I just started sculpting it. And I duplicated Wallace's eyes and just put um, them on Gromit because their eyes are basically the same. So 
I didn't really need to change anything. And then I just uh, added a cube and just box modeled uh, his ear and sculpted the basic shape of it. And there we go, there's uh, Grummet. And then I box modeled his body. And then after I box modeled it, I applied the mirror modifier and I started to pose his arms. And then once the posing was done, then I started to uh, sculpt it more. And then once they were finished, I added an empty and I parented them to an empty. And so that way I could just move them around and you can see there's the empties right there. I could just move them around and just pose them how I wanted. And then I'm just like tweaking some things. I had to move uh, Gromit's ear behind Wallace because uh, that's how the picture looks. And then I also added in a sphere, just or a circle. I just added in a circle and I used that just to kind of see what it was gonna look like. Um, just to get everything right, but then later in Krita, I actually added the final uh, circle and the texture and everything, and then just added some basic materials just to see what it was gonna look like. And then I just started doing uh, lighting, and I tried to make the lighting look as close as I could to the reference image. And now I'm gonna show you how I made that um, clay texture with the fingerprint look to it. Um, so I found this website called CG Bookcase, and they have really great textures so i downloaded this 3k version of the fingerprints 01 uh, just this fingerprint map and then i added the fingerprint map in right here and then what i did is i added this mapping node and texture coordinate node and um, i have this easy texturing method that i like to use so what i do is i plug the object into the mapping the mapping into the vector and then what i do is i change this to box and then the blend value I just changed to something maybe around 0.2. And I believe what it does is it makes a box around the object and then just takes the texture from all sides and just pushes it onto uh, the material. And you can see it's really great for like dirt textures or textures like this, just kind of random textures. Um, something like brick or wood, it's not gonna work very well because it, that's very uniform, but this, it's just kind of all random. And then I added uh, I added that into the roughness, but I had to add this color ramp node and just played around with the colors so that I could tell it um, how much strength I wanted it. So if I want it to be really rough or less rough. And then I also plugged this into a bump. So I just plugged it into the height on the bump and then I plugged that into the normal. And then I did have to add an invert node because it just looked better if it was inverted. And the strength I made really small, so uh, 0.1. And then I pretty much just did that for all the clay materials. It was pretty much the same thing. Uh, the only thing I changed was the colors. So uh, they're all pretty much the same, but I just changed uh, this color right here. And then the eye materials, they're really basic. They're just a principled with uh, just black color and white color. And I made them, I made the roughness pretty low so that uh, it would be pretty reflective. And then to make that circle uh, around Wallace and Gromit, I actually started off in Blender, just added a circle and I just started to uh, model that. So I added a camera, put the camera on top, and then I just modeled that circle and I just gave it some just basic materials. I didn't want there to be any shading, so I just added them as an emission, just added those colors. And then I found this free image on Pixabay, so I downloaded that and then I just added it into the material. And then I added a color ramp and I just played around with the color ramp until it got this um, effect where there's these little dots um, and it kind of looked like cloth. So this is what the final texture looked like, and I rendered it out as a PNG uh, with an alpha channel, so I set the background to transparent. I rendered that out as RGBA, and then saved that as a PNG so that it has that alpha channel in there. Um, and then I also did the same thing, used the same material, but I made it red, and so I just rendered that out as an image, and then I'm gonna use that from the background. I jumped into Krita, and I added in the texture, the circle texture, and then I also added in the Walls and Gromit as a new layer. You can see there it is. And then I uh, pushed it down so that it was below the circle layer. You can see right there, it's below it. And then I also added in that background texture as a new layer. And I put that on the very bottom so that it's underneath everything. You can see there it's behind it. And then what I did is I added in the Walls and Gromit texture again. So I just added that in as a new layer and I put that layer at the very top. So it's on top of everything. Uh, so you just hit that up arrow and now it's on top. So you can see now I have two walls and grommets. I have one behind the circle and one above the circle. And then what I did is I just selected a big brush and then I hit the um, eraser 
you can see up there there's the eraser and I just erased the top Wallace and Gromit. So I erased the top layer and you can see if I just hide those, that's what I erased. But because I have another Wallace and Gromit underneath it, they just fade and you can't tell the difference. And then I just added some highlights. So I actually just painted these and this just really makes the characters uh, look more alive. And then I also added in a highlight on Wallace's nose. And here's the final result. So this is the final image that I got. Um, I am gonna be having these project files on my Patreon. So I'm gonna have the Blender file and the textures and all that stuff. So if you wanna check that out, um, that would really help me out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.